Hey guys and welcome to Farm Simulator 2019 Fact Sheet Friday. So, many, many new things here today. It's uh, quite interesting. So, first of all, we have a Vulture A series, which obviously is a tractor. 65,600 has a horsepower range of 100 to 110, 150 litres of fuel, does 24 miles an hour. And the configurations are quite extreme. So you've got front weight, wheel brands, wheel setup, uh, engine setup, front loader, uh, toucher, main color, rim color. And on the tires, you can do standard wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires plus wheel weights, narrow tires, rear narrow, twin wheels, and commercials. And then we'll look on the back of that. We have a Kuhn wheel rake or windrower this is the first time we have ever seen one of these stock in game the american guys are going to freak about having this in game trust me it is the sr314 30 30 wow 23000 requires 40 horsepower and is 7.8 meters 25 feet and working speed of 11 miles an hour so we'll go back over these pictures without the logos and all of that stuff in high definition at the end like we usually do. So we'll go on to the next one. Recognize that tractor? It is the Case 7200 Pro Series. We are not sure yet, but I'm wondering if these are Matt's models from the classic DLC. He will be able to tell right away from looking at these pictures uh, more than likely, so we'll have to wait and see on that. It is costs 98,000, has the horsepower range of 170 to 261, holds 445 litres of fuel, does 24 mile an hour, can change wheel brand, wheel setup, and engine setup, uh, has standard wheels, wheel weights, white tyres, white tyres with weights, Rear twin wheels, twin wheels, narrow tires, rear narrow twins, well, not yet, narrow twin wheels, lots of configs there, and I have no idea how you pronounce this trailer brand, so we'll just call it the Rapide 580V, it is a forage wagon, 100,000, holds 35,000 litres, Work a speed of 12 miles an hour, change the wheel brand on it, and it holds pretty much all your t typical st standard forage. Next, the bigger brother of the, the Rapid that we just saw. It is the 8400W, costs 150,000, requires 140 horsepower, 12 mile an hour working speed, and you can change the capacity here so it's anywhere from 53,000 litres to 56 and a half thousand litres your standard types of forage capacity and wheel brands and the other one requires it doesn't say how much it requires horsepower I wondered if I missed that okay uh, going on to the next we saw it in the trailer yesterday no information about the pickup truck yet it is very, basically a generic pickup truck. Very, very generic this time around. A lot, a lot of the time you could see what cues of pickup truck they were working off of. This one you can't. So the horse box is a Bachmann Big Master Western WCF Animal Transport. Costs 16,000, holds two horses, and you can change the main color. Very flashy looking thing, must be said. And... Next, the, they just keep coming, don't they, guys? There's more. Trust me, a lot more. This is the New Holland T6. Obviously, it's a tractor. Costs 102,000. The horsepower range is 125 to 175. Holds 250 litres of fuel. Does 31 miles an hour. You can change the wheel brand, wheel setup, engine setup, front loader attacher. And your tyre options, or your wheel options, shall I say, standard wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires plus wheel weights, narrow tires, rear twin wheels, 
twin wheels and commercial tires. I really look forward to seeing what these commercial tires are. We haven't seen a single track top of them on. Hint, hint, Giants, if you're watching this. Okay, next. Uh, Limpkin stuff. Very glad to see them back in the game. I don't know if this is the first time they've been in the game officially, or I really can't remember. And I have no idea how to pronounce that. I don't even know what this part is. To be quite honest, I'm guessing that's the tan... No, that must be the seed, and that must be the tank up front. Uh, it... Oh yeah, planter. Is 26,000. Needs 110 horsepower. Is 6 meters, 20 feet. Holds 6,000... 6,000 G's. 600 liters of... Seed, working speed of 9 miles an hour, and that is your seed slash fertilizer right there, as you can see by these icons. And solitaire, solitaire, I'll just call it solitaire, probably wrong. Fertilizer tank, 8,000 leads, uh, 8,000 for the money, costs a, uh, jeez, uh, I'm all over the shop, 1,500 liters. And it holds seed and fertilizer. I just need to slow down. I'm excited. I'm excited. That's all it is. Yeah, we're getting some more interesting stuff. Recognize this beast. This is the new Holland TX20... Uh, Twitchies. 32 combine. 100 grand it will set you back. 160 horsepower engine. 350 litre fuel tank. Does a 15 miles an hour. And a tank capacity of 5... 1600 and the header for it is cost 32,000 is a 4 meter uh, 13 foot header and a working speed of 6 miles an hour and of course your standard grain wheat, barley, soya beans canola and oats and someone's not been doing the weed there's more <laughs> Okay, here we have uh, one that I think will shock a lot of you, and it did me, a Fiat 113, 113, 1,300 1, DT, 39,000 is 150 horsepower, 200 litres of fuel, does 15 miles an hour, and you can change the wheel setup, standard, wide tyres, rear twin wheels, and narrow tyres. I have no idea how to pronounce these trailers on the back, the WH. Yeah, no, the HW 80s, they cost eight and a half thousand each, hold eight thousand liters, and they hold pretty much everything and anything you can desire. Uh, the main color you can change is the design color, the rim color, the wheel brands, wheel setup, uh, and basically it has standard or white tires. That is everything. Just that's without me looking into detail. At all of these okay we'll quickly pause and I'll open up these without all of the info on and here we are so here is the Voltra A uh, we'll take a good look around it just says Voltra on it but I believe this is the first time I've had the A in the game I think very nice indeed you can see the uh, the way the grass is when it's been cut very nice texture underneath it must be said here's the rake not a lot to take note on here, uh, to be quite honest. The rows look pretty much the same as they always have done. Texture looks better underneath for sure. And these are, yeah, they're, they're the trial books. But I'm excited to have a wheel rake in the game, and I think a lot of people will be as well, to be honest with you. So we'll go to the next one. Uh, this is the Case Pro, which I, I don't know if it's from Matt's pack. Seems very much a coincidence if it isn't. But here's this beast. It's a nice tractor, it must be said. Look forward to using that. And again, you can see the texture on the grass. It looks beautiful. It really does. And the loader wagon on the back. I don't want to kind of overshadow this with the tractor. Very nice model, all the detail on it. Very nice indeed. The background of the map too, you can see the buildings. I believe it's me. Oh no, let's see America come up with those type of trees. And look what's been pulling it. <laughs> the 8,000. Uh, we haven't seen it for a while. Uh, not much to report on this tractor. Tra uh, tractor the uh, trailer. Trollberg tires. Steering axle on the rear by the looks of things there. Nicely modelled, as everything seems to be. Really not much to 
say about it. There's not much in the background going on either. Oh, the horse box. Well, this is a very, very fancy horse box. You look at the rims on it. You can even the detail that I spotted right away, but the shock absorber on the suspension there. Uh, the light, well, the lens cover for the lights, license plate spot right there. In the trailer, we didn't see it with the tarp on it, so my guess is we can get rid of this, uh, switch it on and off sort of thing. Very nice. Uh, the pickup. No, I do not want to delete this. Uh, the pickup truck we'll have a quick look at. Again, kill a lizard tire brand, but we've got Michelin in the game. It would be nice to get Michelin tires on the vehicles. But it's just a very, very generic brand of pickup truck. Now, that's one thing. We never have any good pickup trucks in the game as far as mods. Hey, maybe in 19. So, move on to the new Holland T6. We all know and love the new Holland T6. I don't know if it's the new shape or the old shape or what shape it is. But it looks good. You can see the hoses going up into the spool valves there. And that's the cedar folded up. And we've got the lighter, the bezels as well, all color coded. That's kind of neat. Nothing much to report on in the background. Very nice. I'm guessing this has got the troll bugs on it as per usual. Yep. It'd be nice to see the Michelin tires on something. And here it is in the field. Same tractor, presumably. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's a six there. Uh, nothing much to report going on in the background. Didn't know if we'd have a hidden tractor somewhere. I can see some of the dirt texture going up on that. Also, they were using it for a couple of passes. Actually, that looks kind of 3D there, but I know it's not. Huh, neat. And the interesting thing that I cottoned onto right away, and you guys may too, We've got seed slash fertilizer, I think seed up here. Fertilizer in here. Uh, how is that going from one to the other? Just saying. <laughs> There's no hose attaching it. I thought we were getting that, so maybe it's only some stuff has that capability. I don't know, I'm just throwing it out there. I think this is the new shape T6 too. That's cool. What if we're going to get a T7? Like a standard T7. Definitely could do it with one of them. Uh, the new Holland TX Very nice combine. I, I didn't really use it much from Mad XGS's pack. I presume it's from there. I really have no idea And he'll be able to tell us more than likely if he can But nice nice combine for sure But again, there's not really much to report on here. It's a combine in a field But uh, like I said one of the Giants employees, they didn't do that weeding and this, this is, this is where the fun and games really start. Again, all the weeds in the field, but okay, everyone's going to be looking at this, going, oh, "We've got a lot of older machinery in the game." Sweet, this is massive. We've got theatre in the game, huge. The Irish community are going to be going balmy, going. We can get our one eighties. We can get our one uh, the other ones, the one fifty, uh, the one ten nineties in the game. Now, possibly, because we've got this theatre in the game. Let's look closer at the trailers. You may be saying, why? What, what's so important about the trailers? We heard that there will be a mechanic in the game that shows wear and tear. I saw this instantly. I saw the orange right away. I love orange. It's my favorite color. But then I saw the back end of this trailer. And look at the wear. I think we can all agree. Trailers, plows, stuff like that. Machinery gets wear on it. I hope the boards on the mill boards on plows get this where the paint wears away they get nice and shiny and you get no pe sort of penalty for having it like that same with trailers i hope that over time they will wear down like this and actually look used i know manufacturers want to show off their vehicles in the best light showing them all nice and shiny and this is how they are that's the furthest away from the truth once they get on a farm and work in as far as trailers go plows go stuff that's interacting with the soil we all know, buckets even, that paint wears away incredibly quickly on machinery. And here it is, and it looks good. I, I would love to see more pictures of that. And even on the Fiat, now I've got to give credit to Rainbow Dave here, he noticed it. 
Notice the wear around presumably the fuel tank. But the detail on this old tractor, even along here, look, there's wear. There's te wear and tear on it. It's the first time we've seen any of this. It's a hell of a nice tractor. But that I am excited for. Now, granted, it may not be part of the system. It may just look like this, but hell, these are nice. And these would be a nice setup for when you first start them off the map or the game. Straight here, and it's probably what we're going to see. And let's not forget, we can see the chopped sort of textures on the ground. So I think that's the thing now, looking at that. Pretty cool. So, without further ado, that is the video. I know some of the other people out there will probably make these fairly long. Uh, I will keep it fairly tamed down for you guys. We'll just go back through them. I personally... I'm more excited than ever about this. Kind of this, I'm not going to lie. And that. <laughs> Especially with the wear there. But there's a lot of stuff in this. There's like seven, no, seven, five, five screenshots. Give or take. So lots of stuff to be had here. Lots of interesting stuff indeed. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the breakdown of this video. No doubt I may have missed some pointers here, and I was just excited to show you guys this stuff. So hopefully you can endure it. Till next time, catch you guys later. And that will be next week when we get some more 19 news, no doubt. See ya.